this is it. It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports, where I bring you the latest breaking news and major sports stories concerning my favorite teams, the Los Angeles Lakers, Dallas Cowboys, Barcelona Football Club, Chelsea Football Club, Champions of Europe, London is Blue, my home team, Harborview, and of course, Jamaica's National senior teams the reggae boys and reggae girls being that i'm jamaican of course please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't clicked that like button make sure you do so on every video big up and welcome back this video is brought to you by Kane rose by keisha if you want to get your hair done in the fort lauderdale south florida west palm beach area even as far as Miami, soft locks, fox locks, sewing, butterfly locks, rope twists, stitch braids, natural styles and more. Not less braids, yes, passion twists also. Cane Rose by Keisha on Instagram. Hit her up. Oh yeah, by the way, that's females only. Males 16 and under. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're listening all over the world. It's your boy Dre, and welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports. Now, as you know, I give you new stories and scores concerning my favorite teams. Normally, I don't give you a loss, especially one like this. Now, the Lakers went into Boston, the number one seed in the Eastern Conference with a record of 36 and 15. Yes, I said it. 36 wins, 15 games lost in the season so far. Number one team in the Eastern Conference. They came away with a heart-wrenching loss due to a no-call by the referee on an obvious foul by Jason Tatum on one LeBron James. Now, this is how it goes, according to Jason Beer of the Yahoo Sports. The Boston Celtics picked up a dramatic win over the Los Angeles Lakers in overtime on Saturday, but it took a blatant no-call at the end of regulation to get there. Let's just say LeBron James and the Lakers weren't pleased. In the final seconds of regulation with the score tied 105-105, the Lakers had the ball and a chance to end the game. Predictably, the ball ended up in the hands of James, who drove into the paint and missed a would-be winning layup. Replay soon showed that James was clearly hacked on the arm by Jason Tatum and should have received two free throws. Unfortunately for the Lakers, the officials didn't see it that way and sent the game into overtime. James was apologetic immediately after the play, yelling at the officials, spinning around, spanking the floor, ultimately ending up on the hands and knees on the court. The replays are there on Twitter, ESPN Twitter. The replays are there for you to watch it on YouTube. Replays are there all over the social media space. Despite James' theatrics, he wasn't the reason the Celtics opened overtime with a free throw via a technical foul. That fell off the free, uh, at the feet of one Patrick Beverly, who two minutes earlier had thrown down arguably the best dunk of his career. As the dust settled on regulation, Beverly picked up a tech by presenting a photograph camera to an official as evidence of the missed call. Technical fouls really don't get funnier than this. The replays are also there. Just type in Patrick Beverly technical foul versus the Celtics. The robbery narrative was sealed once the Celtics put the Lakers away in overtime. It was little consolation that James managed to post 41 points as he inched even closer to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time NBA scoring record. The no-call was so bad the crew chief Eric Lewis admitted the missed call the day the crew missed the play to a pool reporter after the game. A rarity in such interviews. 
per Don Week of the Los Angeles Times, the Lakers have already received confirmation from league officials that the call was botched. NBA officials expressed more regret Sunday, saying the missed call will cause sleepless nights. <laughs> I also posted a picture of the missed call at the end of this, so you will be seeing this video, and you will see the obvious foul on the hands of LeBron James by Jason Tatum. Meanwhile, the Lakers was unsurprisingly irritated while speaking with reporters. Head coach Darwin Ham said, The best player on earth can't get a call. It's amazing. Then Anthony Davis weighed in. It's bull crap. End of the day, it's unacceptable and guaranteed nothing will happen to the refs. We got cheated tonight. It was a blatant foul. So, Lakers lost to the top seed Celtics 121-125 in overtime. They play next. Boston, um, New, who they play? Oh, they play Brooklyn Nets tonight at 7.30. Um, this game, however, they will be playing without LeBron James and Anthony Davis. They'll be rested for this game. Remember, on four more games on a East Coast road trip. So there you have it, people. Los Angeles Lakers robbed in Boston by the top seed and a no call on a foul by Jason Tatum on one LeBron James at the end of regulation, which would have sent James to the free throw line, two free throws, two freebies, would have put it away. Lakers would have come away with the victory in Boston. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Next couple of now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Dre Anywhere Sports. Tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell a friend or a family member about Dre Anyweather Sports. And like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all those who have done so. Oh, those who haven't done so yet, just take a time out. It's free. Go ahead, hit the like button, share, subscribe, drop a comment or a thumbs up. Also, I want to take time out to give um, Talawa TV a big shout out there over there in the UK. Big Up Crystal um, doing great coverage over there for the reggae girls and on behalf of the reggae girls too. Number one trendsetter when it comes to that coverage there. Um, she also um, educates us on happenings concerning players that play in the UK and around the world too. Great stuff over there on Talawa TV. So give her a check out people and give her a subscribe too. I like her videos. Also, want to give a shout out to my fellow YouTubers, Coach's Desk, Big Look, doing big things over there. Weekend Triple Treat, I'm part of the panelists. Also, Reggae Boys Commentary, Trendsetter, Simon Preston, Big Up Yourself, doing great things also for TVJ. Fourth Official, Rome, Big Up Yourself, my new fan, Long Time, Big Up. Also, I Am Sure Sports. Manning's man, big, big Arsenal fan and supporter. Have a multiple programs over there covering all sports in and around Jamaican community. Now, also, another Arsenal man, military gooner. Big up yourself. Breaking news all the time concerning the reggae boys and Jamaica's football. Formula Sports, there in Jamaica also, covering football and sports in and around Jamaica. IMAX it, football, another one, big up yourself, JD, covering sports, English Premier League, local league, concerning and around the reggae boys, big up yourself, IMAX, Ryan LFC, big, big Liverpool fan and supporter over there in Canada, another Jamaican of course, big up yourself, always giving us interviews with reggae boys, and uh, news stories concerning around the Reggae Boys football program and team. Again, remember, like, share, subscribe. Bless up everyone. This is Dre from Dre Anywhere the Sports. Until next time, I'm out. Looking forward to it.